Hi guys, this is Rohan and you are watching a video in the series of SQL interview question and answers. In this video, I will show you three different ways to identify a duplicate data in the SQL table. So let's get started. For this demo, I'm making use of a customer table uh, along with the customer details in it. And there are a few duplicate values if you, um, you know, pay attention here. So these are the uh, duplicated um, you know, data. So let's go ahead and uh, start with the very first method. In this method, I will uh, go ahead and choose the first name, comma email address, and then we will count uh, the number of occurrences of uh, the repeated um, you know, such values. So for that, uh, we will have to apply uh, the group by logic. Uh, I'm going to call it as group by and then paste the the uh, select columns right in order to find out the duplicated values uh, we will have to specify that condition using the having clause and duplicate means there are multiple occurrences of same record so for that i am giving a count star of greater than one wherever there is a more than one instance of a, you know record give me all those uh, you know information so this is the very first method so these two are the duplicate data and we have identified those duplicated records. So this one was the very first uh, method wherein I'm using count star and having a group by and having clause. In the second method, in the second method, I will go ahead and uh, use all the columns and uh, I'll be making use of a row number function here. So this is one of the you know, window function. Uh, if you are heard, um, this is also, you know, used for, um, you know, generating the row number, even you can make use of uh, rank also. For this demo, I'll make use of row number function. And we will have to partition the data based on the uniqueness, uh, what we have identified in this uh, table. So I'll be making use of email address. And we will have to sort it by um the email address or if you have a created date or a joining date so based on those column you can even sort it uh, and then identify only those that are uh, the latest uh, records right so i'll leave that uh, info for now and let's give it a alias name for this and let's go ahead and run this so now uh, the row number is generated for each of the records here and if you notice uh, for this particular um, email address the row number is one and two two means it's a duplicate similarly uh, it is happening for um, the other email addresses as well and if you want to print only the duplicated values uh, maybe uh, we can actually add a, a cte block on top of this and then we will use this uh, same query uh, inside the cte block and here we will mention uh, select star from CTE block where the row number is greater than one. So which means uh, this will print only those that are duplicated records. So this is a this is the second method of uh, finding out the duplicate based on the window function. In the third method, I'm going to use uh, one of the analytical function along with some you know case statements here. So we will say case when email address is equal to the lag of email right over or by email. So what this condition is, um, so let me you know un uh, explain this lag function here. So lag is basically um, whenever you use a lag function, it will get you the value of the previous record. Right. Um, the way in the third method, how I'm finding the duplicate is based on uh, whether my previous uh, value and the current value, if it is same, then I'm calling it as duplicate. Right. So that's the condition when email equals to the previous email address and we will have to order it by email address. OK, and uh, when this is true, then um, we will have to call it as Yes, right, else we will call this as no. So which means it's not a duplicate, right? And we will give it a, so we'll have to end it for this case statement, we will have to end it. And then we will give a, a column alias name 
as duplicate value so let's go ahead and run this so and also before we run this uh, we will have to order it by email so that uh, we will have to if you are doing any lag function we will have to send the data in a uh, sorted manner right so this is uh, the output of uh, the lag function as well so the third column if you notice um, all the unique values will be getting the value as no because the else condition will uh, get true when uh, this particular email address is you know, read um, it is now comparing with the previous value since both the values are same it's going to print it as s which is our true statement right so this is how we will identify um, the duplicate using analytical function so you can even uh, do it um, you know based on the lead value as well right uh, lead is basically comparing the next value of uh, you know the data point and it works the same way and you can have a CTE block or you know even subquery to print only the records that are duplicated so I leave it up to you and um, that's all uh, for this session just a quick recap then the very first method we have used group by and having uh, you know clause and the second method uh, was using the window function and third one uh, by using lead and lag analytical functions keep learning and sharing knowledge uh, all the best thank you